Hello and welcome to Ye Yu Lab. In the last video, I demonstrated the integration of Google's small language model, Gemma, with the AutoGen framework by deploying the Olama server as an inference to run Gemma locally on Cargo's free tier GPU environment. This approach allows us to leverage Gemma's impressive capabilities while remaining in control over the generative applications without relying on paid APIs or exposing private data. However, by using Olama, you have to rely on models availability from Olama's platform. Although their model library is quite rich and up to date, there will be a challenge if you would like to use a fine-tuned version or your own trained model. In this video, I will dive into Autogen's internal methods for inference with customer models. And I will continue to use Gemma 7b for a quick demonstration, which will allow you to put any model, any API or hard-coded response you want to your LLM agents. By leveraging this building functionality, developers can open up a world of possibilities for creating highly customized and optimized multi-agent applications without relying on any external services. So let's look at what is the Autogen's new methods for custom models. To meet the massive requirements of using customized open source language models, Autogen released a new class called Custom Model Client that inherits from Model Client support the implementation of external model inference. A typical implementation is required several steps Step one, you need to define a custom model client class with rewriting five functions. For a minimum requirements, you need to implement the initial function, the create, message retrieval, cost, and gate usage. The init function should include a code for model loading or deploying or parameter setting if you don't have to load the model locally. And then the create function should return the response from model generation and the response should follow the format defined by uh, model client response uh, protocol. I will use examples to explain this in later section. The message retrieval function should return a list of generated message and a cost and the get usage function are responsible for providing token usage related data. Then we should define the LLM config list to feed the custom model with initial parameters for local deployment. We should add additional fields like model client CLS, device, and uh, such fields to specify how to run the model locally. And step three, we should adjust the new model to the agent. Make sure that this registration needs to be called before Autogen uh, conversation starts. For a typical Autogen application, after these custom model steps are complete, we just need to create the agents and the tasks like what we normally do in Autogen framework. With that in mind, let's see practically how to put the local Gemma 7b model to Autogen by using Hugging Faces Transformers library. Please make sure that you have at least 20 gigabytes GPU memory in your local environment to run this application or make use of the cargo notebook where you will have at, you will have at most two T4 GPU with 30 gigabytes VRAM for free. Following the guide of custom model client implementation, we should add the code for model downloading, setup, and inference into relevant functions. Without further ado, let's see the code. Firstly, install the necessary packages, most of which are responsible for loading models and inference via transformers. And so install the accelerate and bits and bytes for quantization. And input 
these libraries, AutoJ, Transformers, and Torch. And define the config list first. In this demo, we will use Gemma 7B IT model with 4 bit quantization to fit into the Kaggle notebook. And I will explain the reason why such a 7B model will consume so much computational resource in this architecture later in the code explanation. And I will give you the optimization guide. Since we are going to load the model from Hugging Face, you should make sure the model field is the exact path and the name in the model card page on Hugging Face. Model Client CLS is the class name that you will define later. Custom Model Client. And you can define the device to CUDA or CPU for different uh, computation arrangement and the n will be set to one to use only one response in the list let's jump into the custom model client creation in the init process we load the pre-trained model through the auto model for casual lm from pre-trained and use the quantization for 4 bit by setting the loading 4 bit as true and also load the tokenizer from auto tokenizer from pre trained function. Then define the create function. In the create function for a proper generation process, there are two main steps. The first one is to use the tokenizer apply chat template to generate a constructed tokenizer inputs with rows and messages by AutoGen framework. Model generate and tokenizer decode to iterate to iterate the output text and wrap them as a list into response structure and return the response structure. Here you should note that for the autogen structured input message, params message, you cannot directly use it for chat template to apply to the tokenizer because the tokenizer for Gemma model will print error message indicating the prompt format does not follow user assistant, user assistant sequence. But unfortunately, autogen cannot assure that. Therefore, we have to define a helper function replace system row with user to modify the original input messages to complete two jobs. The first job is to replace the system row with user row because system row is not allowed. The second job is to insert the assistant row into a sister row, a dummy message, OK, if any user message generated by Autogen does not have an assistant message followed with user. Next, we should define the rest of three functions to make the class complete. Message retrieval, cost, and get usage. Uh, for the test purpose, we will not put much logic into them. Just to return the list of messages for message retrieval. The cost is zero and the usage is uh, leave as none. As a final step, we wrap up the model client and construct a LLM config based on that for serving agents. Moving forward, we should register the custom model client into each agent, including the manager who also relies on LLM. Manager is an orchestrator, if you don't know. So we are now in the process of model downloading.
Now it's loading the model into GPU. Please be aware that each core of Regist model client will load one instance of the model to the GPU. So that means we will consume three times of GPU memory when there are three LLM agents. This is the first agent. Successfully complete the first loading process. Now it's the loading model for second agent. The third agent. Okay, complete. Now we can assign the task. We assign the same task that generate uh, 120 word of blog post about traveling in Boho Island. The execution spent quite a long time because the CPU resource of the free cargo notebook is not quite sufficient because it's a trade-off for high GPU memory. Okay, let's see the result. The writer repeated itself once. It's not correct. But after that, the editor jumped in to give a change recommendation. After the change recommendation, the writer um, generate a revised blog post as what we expect. So basically, even if it's a 4-bit quantization, the orchestrator can still uh, properly make the speaking sequence correct. Let's see how much GPU memory we used. You can see that the GPU memory has been used almost 25 gigabytes totally to generate the entire workflow because each agent uses one independent model inference that is created by the regest function. I believe most of us cannot tolerate such an unnecessary usage of GPU resources for sure. So let's quickly find a way to reduce it. The main idea of optimizing memory usage is to let all the agents share one local inference. Therefore, we can move the initialization of the model tokenizer out of the custom model client init process to make it be called only once in the entire runtime. Here we define two global variables, custom model and custom tokenizer that contain the uh, loaded model and the tokenizer. And then we need to pass the custom tokenizer and the custom model to the custom model client initial process in the init function to replace the, the original uh, model loading and tokenizing loading uh, function by transformers. So with that small change, you will find the GPU memory has been used only 8 gigabytes to perform the same workflow. That's all for today. For the tutorial and the source code, you can find the link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Keep innovating and I'll catch you in the next one.